Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Platinum Black Services. I'm Drea. Today, I want to answer one last question because I'm going to put a hold on doing any more videos regarding EV charging stations because I want to get to some other videos and teaching you how to really start a business, a corporation, and things of that nature. But I had one question in the comment from someone who's an electrician. And they wanted to know how could they get in involved with the EV charging station business. So I did some research and I learned that there is actually a, cert a certification for those who are already electricians or who wants to be an electrician. And uh, you'll be able to receive that training and become an EV charging station installer, which can really be profitable. So. This video here is about seven certified EV charging station installer programs for state certified or licensed electricians. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so why should you consider becoming a certified EV charging station installer? I wanna go over a couple of points. Some are new, some are old from the previous video, but nonetheless, if you are in the U.S., living, or I'm sorry, if you are living in the United States, you you already know, or you should know that the U.S. government plans to help domestic manufacturers build at least 250,000 EV chargers each year for the next, I believe, four or five years. So that's a lot. We're going to have a lot of um, chargers. Of course, other manufacturers are making them such as Siemens, but our government is actually helping with the cost to help push this um, process a lot further quicker as well. So by 2030, which is around eight or seven years from now, the goal is to have at least 50% of new vehicles sold to be electric. So they are slowly but surely, you know, cutting down the sales of uh, gas operated vehicles and quickly uh, trying to push out more electrical vehicles on the road. Also, the uh, Bipartisan Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act um, has committed $5 billion to, to the electrical vehicle infrastructure. Uh, part of the act is the National Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Formula Program, which is allocating the funds to states and territories to boost the number of EV uh, charging, sorry, EV chargers along the nation's highways. So we have this act. And they're, they're basically going to put $5 billion and they're splitting it. So it's a billion dollars a year for the next five years. And then the formula program is something that every state will be responsible in basically uh, creating and providing to the government to say, OK, this is what we're this is how we're going to spend the funds. And it's going to go towards building the infrastructure of highways and and um, streets and certain areas where EV chargers will need to be most available to to the public and um, it'll just be managed that way. So with the state having a plan to install more in charger, uh, EV chargers, that gives an electrician, uh, someone who's certified to install the EV uh, charging stations, an opportunity to make some money because the states will need to hire people to do this. So keep that in mind. Money is there to pay for this um, for this service, and uh, also to help grow your business and to keep regular sources of income coming in. That's I mean you can't beat that. That's really the ultimate goal of why you want to become certified uh, within this EV space because who wouldn't want to make uh, extra money? And right now it's pretty lucrative because you know the government's putting money towards it, things like that. So. You want to get in as soon as possible. All right. Is a normal certified electrician able to install an EV charging station? Technically, no. So a normal certified electrician should not install an EV charger for a few reasons. So reason being the EV charger uh, installers will be working with higher currents and will likely need to have a deep, deeper understanding of earthing and bounding so, I mean, this is very dangerous. You don't want to put yourself in a predicament where you might have underestimated the strength of the currency that you're working with. Um, there are specific national electric electrical code requirements 
regarding the electrical installation of an EV charging point, which an EV installer needs to know, again, for safety reasons. Uh, also, even the most experienced electricians may not be aware of the technical code or electrical requirements associated with EV chargers. So you want to know what you're doing. So what does a certified EV charging station installer do? They do a lot of things. They perform site survey analysis. Uh, they assess the, the existing electrical infrastructure, including electrical service capacity and availability for more power for the utility. Local permits, they apply for the necessary paperwork to expand the utility service capacity or to apply for federal, state, and local utility incentives and permits. Procurement, uh, they will be able to purchase the required equipment, such as breakers and wires, EVSE, which is uh, EV supply equipment, and panels. Cable trenching. Analyze cable trenching from the sub panel or main panel source to the charging station locations. Electrical installation work, including conduit pipes and wire wiring running, uh, which also is adding necessary protecting protection devices. Main panel upgrades, upgrade the main panel board rating and uh, capacity to add extra cir uh, circuit branches for EV charging stations. Mounting of the electrical vehicle supply equipment, um, the EV supply equipment commissioning, short for EVSE. Uh, this is the final step of the installation process to ensure the charger communicates with the network software. Uh, they will also perform the final inspection and Last but not least, just providing ongoing support and maintenance. So there's always an opportunity there to keep coming back and making money for service calls, maintenance, things like that. What are the requirements for becoming a certified EV charging station installer? Well, the primary uh, requirements include, um, you know, the fact that you must be a state licensed or certified electrician. That that helps if you're already in the in the business and you are certified or licensed already. Um, that kind of you know pushes you, that helps push you onto the next step a lot easier. You must maintain a certain amount, or you must maintain a certain amount of experience or hours uh, or years working within the electrical profession. Um, I'm not sure. Um, each program is different. The requirements are different, but I've seen somewhere where if you're not already licensed or certified, um, just having some experience or enough experience, depending on what their, um, you know, their threshold is, um, that might be acceptable. But again, I, you know, don't, don't, um, assume that everyone will do that, but just know that, um, that could be a possibility. And um, you must complete a certified EV charging station installation program. And that's what I'll discuss next in giving you some assistance on where to go, who to call and follow up. But please keep in mind, I do not know about specific fees. I should have made that a disclaimer. I don't know about fees. So you will have to reach out directly to the different companies and find out about time, location, and fees involved, as well as the requirements that they set in order to um, join their program and to earn that certification. Okay. So reach out to them and find out how much it costs. So the first program I found was offered by ChargePoint. Uh, they have a, it's called a ChargePoint installation partner program, I believe. And uh, there's a website. They were founded in 2007, located in Campbell, California. But again, I don't know if they are offering courses online or outside of the state of California. So you want to call and follow up. Um, but they are big. They're they're huge within the EV market. Uh, they're a company that designs, develops, and manufactures hardware and software solutions for electrical vehicles and owns the world's largest EV charging network. So to be able to be certified with them and possibly also partner with them is big because um, they are the largest. And uh, ChargePoint, I'm sorry, the ChargePoint app for Apple and Android phones allow drivers to easily locate the nearest stations. The second 
certified EV charging station installation program I found is provided by EV Safe Charge. Uh, they were founded in 2016. They're located in Los Angeles, California. Again, contact them, go to their website, find out, um, you know, how their program is set up and where they were holding um, courses. And the company themselves, they offer installation and maintenance of EV charging station hardware and software for domestic and commercial use. Uh, they also provide EV mobile charging solutions. The third company I found that's offering a certification is a company called Evo Charge. They were founded in 2009, also located in Los Angeles, California. So still check them out to see what they're offering outside of the state. Uh, they provide electrical vehicle supply equipment, hardware for true open charge point protocol for easy integration with a non-proprietary network that is safe and reliable for home and commercial use. The fourth provider I found to offer a certification is EV Connect. They were founded in 2009 and they're located in El Segundo, California. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, they offer a powerful commercial cloud-based software for operating uh, your network of EV charging stations. Uh, they install network on new and existing hardware uh, for improved performance control and networking. They also offer white label solutions. That's another topic. Um, I do want to touch, but I'll wait uh, for charge point operators. The fifth company that offers certification is Apogee Charging Solutions. They were founded in 2021 and they are located in Aston, Pennsylvania. Uh, they offer customizable EV charging solutions. Their main operating system is called Nudo EV, which is a cloud-based operating platform. It allows EV charging networks to run automatic charging points at multiple locations and offers operators an automated revenue generating charging management system. The sixth company that offers a certification is called Coil Inc. They, are, they were founded in 2019 and they are located in San Francisco, California. They provide end-to-end -end EV charging installation for a wide range of clients, including commercial and residential properties, auto dealerships, and fleet operators. They also offer site assessment design to procurement and, and installation. And finally, number seven, we have EVITP for short, which stands for Electrical Vehicle Infrastructure Training Program. They, um, I don't know when they were founded. It looks like it was an older um, organization. They've been around for a while, but they are located in Royal Oak, Michigan. Um, they are a brand neutral volunteer-based nonprofit organization that trains electricians in the electrical vehicle infrastructure space in the United States and in Canada. Training inc includes site assessment, local calculations, national electric code, job site safety, personal protection equipment, and other installation and maintenance best practices. So there you have it. You have seven uh, companies that offer certified EV charging station installation programs. So all you have to do is reach out to them, communicate to the person that is over the program and find out more about location, testing, um, if it's on site, if they offer online courses, and then of course the cost, because that's the main factor is how much does it cost to be within that program. And don't forget to also ask if after the program and you've been certified, what comes next? You know, um, is there a partnership program? Is there a referral program so that you can jump right into it and start working and have business and clients sent your way? Doesn't hurt. Well, I hope this video was very helpful and informative. If you are a, you know, a professional licensed electrician, or if you're looking to become one, just know that the EV space is wide open and there are so many opportunities to make money. But keep in mind, being certified definitely will set you apart, all right? And it helps. Um, in addition, I want to let you know I have this all-in-one corporate formation starter kit. So if you're looking to form your business and you don't know how, just know the state requires a lot of forms to help start a corporation. But I made it easy for you right here. Over 150 forms um, can be downloaded immediately after purchase and customized. Uh, use this code above for start now and get $20 off. Uh, the link is below in the description to 
find the state that you're in for your specific kit, or you can go to www.platinumblackservices.com. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys soon in the next video.